Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We are continuing the series of Spark plus PySpark. Today we are going to discuss about broadcast variable and accumulator variable. Broadcast variables are read only variables and can be copied on all workers. It simply means we will have a broadcast variable on the driver node and we can broadcast or copy that particular variable on each of the worker node. We cannot change the value of these variables. As shown in this diagram, we can understand like we have two scenarios. When we are talking about without broadcast variable, it simply means we have that variable inside driver node and we have not broadcasted this variable on any of the worker node. In second scenario, we have that broadcast variable inside driver node, but we have broadcasted or shared that variable on each of the worker node. In above diagram, we have two scenarios. In first partition, we have not broadcasted variable A, but in second condition, we have broadcasted this variable A. Now, what this variable A can be? This variable A can be anything like RDD or data frame. If the variable is not broadcasted, then the variable will be available only in the driver. So it simply means we have that broadcast variable inside driver node. And if we will not broadcast this variable to another worker node, simply it will be inside the driver node. If any task requires that broadcast variable, it will come to driver node and fetch it. So obviously it is in inside the driver node and if any of the worker node or any of the worker virtual machine requires that variable, it simply come to this driver node and and then it will access the broadcast variable or variable A. The process of using variable A involves serialization and deserialization process as it is moving from one node to another node. So here we are talking about the scenario where we have not broadcasted variable A from driver node to worker node. If in case any of the task of worker node requires that variable, then in that scenario, it will access that variable from driver node. So obviously, while accessing the variable from driver node, it will move from one node to another node. And if it is fetching data from another node, it simply means the process will involve serialization and deserialization of data. Because of this, overall traffic increases. So there might be scenario where we have one driver node and we have 100 worker nodes or more than 100 worker nodes. And if any of the tasks inside those all 100 worker nodes require to use that broadcast variable, then for all 100 nodes, it, it has to move from one node to another node to fetch the data from variable A. And if it is trying to move from one node to another node to fetch data from variable A, it simply requires the process that is little complex that is known as serialization and deserialization of data. If we talk about this another approach where we have broadcasted the variable from driver node to each worker node, what will happen in this scenario? In this scenario, each worker node will have this broadcast variable. So obviously we have broadcasted this variable. So it seems each worker node now will be having this variable A. So if any task required to use this variable A, it can be accessed without the serialization and deserialization because if that variable A is already available inside each and every worker node and if any of the worker node task required to use that particular variable A, they will not be required to move from one node to another node. So obviously this will improve the performance of Spark application. This is why we use this broadcast variable in Spark. Let's talk about accumulator variable now. Accumulators are the variables which are used to aggregate information from multiple executors. So we have one driver machine and we have multiple executor machines or worker machines. 
so this accumulator variable will always be inside driver machine and whenever we need to use aggregate information from multiple workers or multiple executors in that scenario we use this accumulator variable now let's see how this works this is a shared variable which everyone wants to update so there would be one accumulator variable inside this driver machine and everyone will do their work and wants to update that particular accumulator variable consider we have 500 mb file based on default block size of hdfs and there it will be divided into four machines and also in case of spark we will have four partition in the inside the rdd okay our intention is to count the number of blank files in this all separated four files so we have one file and we have divided that particular big file into four small small files we have given all these four parts to different executors to work on that to count the number of blank sentences in this case we will create an accumulator variable on the driver so that whenever there will be any blank line every executor will update on the this accumulator variable so we have one file that is somehow 500 mb file and we made four partitions from that file and after making four partitions we given all those four partitions to different four worker machines and now worker machines started to work on these four files and whenever any of the worker machine find any blank line inside that partition they will simply update that accumulator variable hey accumulator variable i got this blank file please update yourself with one something like that so this is how this accumulator variable works this executor cannot read this accumulator data it can only update this so there can be multiple situations where we require to use this accumulator variables accumulator are normally not used to process business logic they are just used to show some job statistics so this is to this is all about the accumulator variable driver reads the accumulator variable the executor never reads accumulator variable so if we talk about a nut cell broadcast variable is a variable that would be present inside the driver machine but whenever we require to use broadcast variable we need to broadcast that variable into multiple worker machines if we talk about this accumulator variable that accumulator variable will always be present inside driver machine and all the executors and worker machines can only update it thank you bye bye